Hey there, uh, today I'm going to talk about the fiber optic network in my house. Um, so I have a small fiber optic network that runs to a couple different floors. Um, the reason I went with fiber optic is not necessarily because it was quicker than copper. It had more to do with the electrical interference that is inside my house. So I have a lot of um, areas that... Uh, are easier to run wire through that actually also have like um, a lot of electromagnetic interference so the cables even though um, it is I was using cat 6 uh, it was getting kind of a high loss um, because of magnetic interference um, and I switched it over to fiber optic and I do not have the loss that I have um, obviously because it's optical and not affected by it doesn't appear to be affected by a magnetic interference which I wouldn't assume it would but I'm sure some uh, somebody would probably you know tell me otherwise <laughs> there always seems to be somebody out there that knows something that I don't so um, but I just wanted to point out that I am using this uh, Microtech router board. It is really nice. It has the, um, let's see, there's basically five um, SFP uh, ports that go to fiber optic. Um, these are the, uh, I think, LC, I think that's what we call them. Uh, connectors uh, it works fantastic I'm actually I think it's only performing up to the 1.5 um, gigahertz uh, so you know if I get a faster network than that it's not gonna keep up to that speed but my internet to the house is not that fast so um, this is not at least the uh, you know the weakest link in the house um my wireless is obviously probably the slowest on the well actually the internet to the house is the slowest the wireless would be the second slowest but basically what i did is i have an orby network and then i have these running out to little breakout boxes um all throughout the house and then they go to the wireless devices and it all communicates so this first one is the input um, it's coming from the router uh, directly in, and then I have three that are breaking out right now um, to different areas of the house, and it works really well. A um, couple different things that I've noticed, which I don't know if it's going to help anybody out, but um, these particular wires that I had, um, I got off eBay, or no, I'm sorry, Amazon, and um, they work really good. They're pretty cheap. They're... Um, they're uh like armored so like when you run them it's just the one little cable and it's i guess they can be buried and stuff but um you know instead of doing like the standard blue or uh i thought these would be easier to run i didn't have to worry about you know if i run it past a piece of metal or something that might cut the wire um i was just a little nervous that you know because it is fiber i didn't want it to like you know get cut or whatever um the other thing i did notice though is these uh, fiber optic modules are not included with the uh, device so you can get like different ones that are you know copper out or um you know a different type of fiber um these i think are i did some research but i actually forget what oh it's not on the box that's not helpful um but what I did notice, though, is when I went to go seed them, now if you notice, like, it's it's blinking, so that means it's connected. But um, these are not actually plugged all the way in. Um, and I'm kind of asking for advice. Um, when I went to plug them in, if I plug it all the way in, it actually loses connection. Um, and I do know there's a little spring inside, like, the blue area of the wire. Um, and it seems to like lose, I guess, intensity is probably the best way to put it of the laser, like when it's compressed. Um, I didn't poke around at it, but that's just kind of an observation. Um, I'm hoping that the uh, SFP 
connectors are just not bad for some reason or like the cable is just not bad um but they seem to work just fine um if i don't push them all the way in i i don't know just an observation it works great like you can't even tell and like it doesn't move anywhere like i'm gonna eventually mount it probably right up here i'm kind of working on my on my rack over here I got, you know there's a switch down there let's see H hdmi router there's stuff cable box i don't know we had to make it all nice and pretty and like put it all away but uh i am thinking possibly about buying the bigger one um just because like i only really have one spot left and i have other areas of the house i'd like to run um fiber to but uh long story short running fiber was a fantastic idea um i was able to get uh, like really, really good internet all the way out to even the pool, which is, um, it's like a community pool for me. So it's like probably, um, like 300 yard, well, 300 feet away from my house. Um, but because I ran wire or most of it's of that run is wireless, but because I ran some of it fiber, um, you know, fiber can run really long distances without uh, any degradation. I mean, it's it seems to perform just as good as if it's sitting right next to the router. Um, unlike uh, copper, um, like Cat Cat Six or whatever, where or Cat Five for that matter, where you know, if I run it really long distances, I know they say you can run it really far, but I I don't know. My my ping times have like they don't seem as good um now granted that could be because maybe i'm not doing my ends right or you know there's some additional reasoning for that but um i just feel based on you know the testing and stuff that i'm aware of and have done that fiber does seem to be uh the most efficient um like means of communication now I've read and I've seen some other videos where um, fiber does seem to have more latency because of the way that the fiber, um, the SFP cards work. Um, apparently there you can get an additional latency because of the translation. Um, I don't personally know anything about that, but uh, I would be curious to know if you guys have any opinions or thoughts on that. Um, you know, and maybe I'll try to prove, you know, maybe I'll run a line in parallel with one of these just to see, you know, what the difference is. Well, once again, hey, thanks for uh, listening to my video. Um, I usually try to keep them a little shorter than this, but I, you know, this was, I think, one of those videos that, you know, people don't really talk enough about is fiber. So I'll probably do one or two more on this. Um like little boxes that I have laying around the house. They're pretty sweet. So I'll probably want to, you know, talk about that. And um, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks.